Hi, I'm Tara Manisic, TZ Manix on Twitter, and I'm a developer advocate for Progress here today to walk you through creating a robust application in React with Kenda UI's library built from the ground up specifically for React. If you're wondering what Kenda UI is, you can check out the first video in this series. All the videos are listed below in the comments, along with a GitHub repo to the code for the project that we'll be building today. So without further ado, let's jump into the code. The first thing that we're going to do today is use Create React App to create our React application. And then we are going to create <laughs> the React application using Create React App Library. After that, we will find the components that we're going to use on the Kendo UI website and install those using NPM. And finally, we will also install a theme, the Kendo UI default theme. And we'll talk a little bit more about themes as we get to that section. So let's jump into the code. So I wanted to show you here that this is the repo for Create React App. It is an open source project coming from Facebook, uh, and it basically gives you a skeleton of a React application. So in our terminal, so the first thing we're going to do is globally install Create React App using npm and the dash g flag to make it global. After that, we can clear that out. And to make the React application, we just do create React app and the project name, which we will say Kendo UI React. Make it real simple, you know? So then we let it run through the process of, of creating the project and getting it ready for us. OK, that is all done. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and go into the directory. <clears throat> and let's clear this out. And we can take a look at everything that we have. So we have the basic readme, our node modules folder, package.json, and our public and source directory. So today we'll mostly be working in the source directory. So we'll go ahead and change into there. And I want to go ahead and give you a look of what this looks like so far. So we'll run, um, actually, we will open another window. Because if you run in PM start in your project made with Create React App and then have that running in the background, it will keep refreshing every time you change the code. So we went ahead and did npm start in a new window so that we could have it running and updating every time we save new code. Magic. So if we look to this other window, we have a lovely React application ready for us to mess about with. So next, just to get everything ready for us to create this project, we'll start installing our Kendo UI components. Let's take a look at the Kendo UI documentation to kind of see what we're getting into. This is the whole list of components that we're going to mess with today. We're not going to do all of them, <laughs> but this is the whole list of all the ones we have available to us today. And today in our project, we're actually going to be using the drop down list, numeric text box, buttons, and the grid. So we'll go ahead and install all of those now. If we take a look at buttons first, we see that in the documentation, we have an overview section that lets us know how to do the installation. And so if we go over to our code, we just do npm i, and we can do we can dismiss the dash dash save or the dash capital S, because with npm, npm 5 and greater, that goes in by default. So we just have to do npm i at progress, kendo react buttons. Nice, so we have a button now. We also have to install a few things. Let me show you with the drop downs. Uh, in the overview view, you can see that we just need to install this. And for the numeric inputs, we only need to install inputs from the library, as you will see right here. Oh, and internationalization. So those are two libraries we will need to install. But with the grid, there's so much that you can do with the grid. It uses so many different components inside the grid that all of those things are actually what you'll be installing with the grid. 
So we can take this whole section right here, copy that, NPMI, paste it. So you'll see here we have the grid, data query that we'll use for the grid, the React inputs, which is we'll be using that for the grid and for the numeric inputs, internationalization, which we'll also be using for inputs, and the drop downs and date inputs. So we kind of have all of it right here. So let's go ahead and install all of those now. I forgot an I. <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> okay, that was quick. So now we can go ahead and talk about the theme. So if you saw the video before this, you know that I really like the idea of installing these themes because you don't have to do any uh, CSS work if you don't want to. For this project, we actually won't be doing any customization in CSS because we'll solely rely on the styling from these styling libraries. One of the tools that I want to show you that I think is fantastic, there's actually a progress theme builder. And as you see here, you can use any of these projects. We are going to be doing Kindle UI for React. And you can import a theme, you can use the default or bootstrap. We actually also have material available for the theming of these components, but not in the style builder yet. <laughs> so we're going to go with default uh, just because I want to walk you through it. I'll actually show you a different way of installing the themes. But I wanted to show you this builder in case you wanted to customize this theme even further to your liking. So basically you can walk through and change any of these with color pickers and see how all of that looks. So if we did the accent, you can immediately see the change happen. <clears throat> and it gives you a look at what the components will look like with all of these changes. And then you're able to just download this awesome, this, <laughs> and it will give you a zip file. For us though today, we are actually going to npm install the default theme first, and then I'll show you in the next video how we're going to Im just import that into our project in the app.js file. But for right now, for this video, all we are going to do <clears throat> is run npm i to install the progress, make sure I have this right, kendo theme default. You will see me checking sometimes because I tend to flip words. I don't know what the deal is, but sometimes I flip these words. So <laughs> if that happens, I've warned you. Okay, so we have our theme in here. If we take a look at our package.json, oh, we need to go back up one directory and take a look at our package.json. We'll see that we have all of our uh, inputs there are all of our components that we're going to use from progress, including buttons, date inputs, inputs, drop downs, and grid, along with the themes, the default theme as well. So basically in this video, we have prepped ourselves, giving us all the uh, uh, accoutrements <laughs> that we need to create a robust application in React using the Kenda UI library that is built from the ground up specifically for React. Now, please remember if you have any questions at all to feel free to ping us on Twitter at Kendo UI or me personally at TZ Mannix. Um, and check out the rest of this series to continue on the journey of building this application. And hopefully we will see you soon.